This game fucking blows. Where is the bonus? What am I doing? Who would play this? Everybody likes free things. Unfortunately, you can't spell freedom without F-R-E-D-O or M. So today, me and my friend downloaded random games off the free-to-play category on Steam. Some of them were fun, and some of them belong in the deepest pit on earth. Anyways, if you guys like this video, just remember to fuck off. Okay, we're gonna start out with With You. First up on the list was With You, a cooperative two-player indie puzzle game. The unfortunate part is that I did absolutely no research for any of these games, so the whole two-player aspect, well, you'll see how that goes. Is this supposed to be like a fucking shitty puzzle game or something? Oh, here I am. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is this like fucking the Snipper Clips wannabe or something? Oh. oh my fucking god, his legs are gone. Oh my god, they're back. What uh, are you doing? Uh, Can you control both of them? No, I, uh... Oh, oh, there we go. So, chapter we're again, chapter no, two. You. Wait, we're oh, I this. get it. This game's about sex. I wonder if this is supposed to be co-op. <laughs> about that one. I don't think this was. This feels like not meant for one person. Falling for you. Oh, things are moving a bit fast. I'm not sure how I feel about. That. Oh, you gotta. I think you gotta use pink guy to like as a platform. Honestly, the game was kind of janky, but besides that, it was kind of fun. Fucking awful at this I'm game. Not, Give not, me the goddamn I'm, controller. I'm, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, check this out. I go down. I get on top. Oh, that's hot. And then I go up. Sheesh. Even though the game was intended for two players, we made it work. Sorta. Hey, you all good. I'm dead. What? Or you gotta flip that shit. You gotta flip that shit. What flip shit? that shit. What flip shit? that shit. Flip that shit. Give me the goddamn controller. Let Fuck me do you. it. Can you chill? Actually, no, this works. What the? I don't think I'm doing what's intended. <laughs> so, I don't think the game meant for me to do this, but. If it's broke, don't fix it. All I'm saying is, if I beat the level, um, yeah. I'm so sick of these pink motherfuckers. They're so cute. I thought you just said that you hated them. I feel like all these levels are kind of starting to blend together, where you just like struggle to like get them in place at the very end, depending on you. Here we go. Wow. This game fucking blows. Bro, you got them all mixed up. Come the fuck on. What is you broke his legs. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so With You was a game. With You was pretty fun, but it probably would have been useful if someone was with me. Also, the Steam reviews are really funny. Cute game. Really helped me bond with my wife's boyfriend. Very good game. I cannot escape my loneliness. Cute. Shapes made me sad. Completed it in 10 minutes on my own. I'm sad, lonely, and disappointed. Not recommended. Supertux is a classic 2D platformer. The only aspects of this game I looked into were some of the Steam previews and the ratings, both of which got me pretty excited, honestly. I think it's safe to say that out of all the games on the list, Supertux was probably the one I was most interested to get into. I couldn't wait to start the- Um, I don't know much- Oh, oh, uh, well that was Supertux, guys. Bitburner is an interesting one. It's kind of hard to describe what's happening throughout, so I'll just read the description off Steam at five times speed. Bitburner is a programming based style incremental RPG where you, the player, take the role of an unknown hacker in a dark, dystopian world. Uh, all I'll say is, as someone who has no idea how to program, this was a bad idea. So, this is a RPG. It says, Oh, I love RPGs. This opinion did not last. I think reading a game description would have helped, but here on the Nintendo channel, we liked it now. Where are the pictures? Help. Jesus Christ. Who would play this? I'm just doing what it tells me to. Should we just skip the tutorial and just like fucking wing it? Yep. This also might have been the worst idea in the entire world. I never would have guessed this, but apparently if you're bad at programming and you skip the tutorial on how to program, it gets a little bit confusing. I think we should have looked at the tutorial, but you said you wanted to skip it. I d Okay. Despite some of the opinions expressed in this video, I'm sure if you're into programming and standing, then you would probably like this game. If you actually enjoy this game, you're probably like a fucking loser. <laughs> I really hope we don't get like the hardcore like bit burner fans like here. <laughs> you can't, you just in general look at the tutorial better. <laughs>
Then we just spent the next several minutes wandering around and trying to figure out how to quit the game. What the fuck, fuck is- How do we- I can't can we escape! Leave? We're trapped in BitBurner! We try quit, yeah. Exit. Leave. Fuck you. Alright, this is a command Q moment. And it didn't work. And- Fuck! I accident- I'm done. You know, I was actually Yeah! <laughs> yes, sir. Loon's TD Battles 2! This was the only game I set out for that I've heard about previously. I was an avid player of BTD Battles 1, so when I saw this on the list, I knew I had to try it out. It was underwhelming. There are four lessons complete. Get through. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The graphics were cool, though. So it's just like, it's just this tower defense balloons. Yeah. Cape Can you nothing. fast forward it? Start pressing keys on your keyboard. Awesome. <laughs> wow. This is a There's lot There's really not like a lot to comment game. about yeah. here. I beat the first level pretty easily. And then the second one as well. That's not a fucking monkey. What the this fuck? This one is though. That's not a fucking monkey That's either. A, I figured I could go online since I pretty much already played the game. The unfortunate part about this is that in balloons, you progressively unlock more towers and tiers as you play. So you could say I might have been a little underprepared. Uh, uh. Okay, hmm. okay. Wait, we're living. Nope. Oh, never mind. You're about to get fucking bodied. I hope you know that. You're not allowed to do that. I'm the... You make it Yes! Back. I'm fucking insane at this game. After getting my first win, I did what any good player would do and quit out the game. Next up, we have Modern Assault Tanks. This game was insane. I don't, I don't even know what it's. You know what my favorite part about this is? <laughs> There's a thing that says skip, but I can't click it because my mouse is locked on the cursor. Where is the bonus? What am I doing? <laughs> this is so chaotic with the music too. This is your hanger. Take a look around. Get out of my server. To be honest, this one looks like decently fun. This one like leagues better than fucking Bitburner. What the fuck? Uh-oh. There's only two seconds left. Well, this game was a fucking trip. I bought a cute little zombie and jack-o'-lantern for my tank and then went straight back into the fray. I picked random maps since I couldn't decide between the only two options I had. Oh, thank God we got this map. I was gonna cry if it was the other Commence one. Firing. It was honestly difficult to decipher if I was actually in an online match or not. I was the only one getting kills in the majority of the lobbies I played. And to this day, I'm honestly not sure. Real you money. can buy VIP, VIP, or VIP. Even though World of Tanks is what I would call fun, I did get kind of bored of it pretty quickly. I guess that kind of takes away the whole fun aspect, but uh... This next one is Among Ripples. Please don't tell me that this is what I think it is. Sucks to suck past Kenny, but it's actually an ecosystem management simulator where you essentially just mess around with little guys in a lake. So yeah, it's pretty much Among Us. I have high hopes for this one. Wow. Fucking fascinating. Oh, Are they just look. a place? Uh, it's a guy. I can tell this whole lake's gonna be an absolute clusterfuck by the end of this. The game has you run through the tutorial, and it's pretty much over from there. I feel this applies to a lot of the games we played today, but I have no idea what what is going on. I think it's kind of cute if you were two years old, but uh, unfortunately for this game, I'm three. I'm pretty sure we've played like all of Among Ripples now, so on to the final game. You sure know how to pick these fucking games, don't you, Jacob? Oh no, oh lord. Our final game is Carpe Diem, or Carp Diem, I don't fuck it. Anyways, it's a visual novel. I decided to animate most of it because I think otherwise it'd be pretty boring. Do you want to- <laughs> Are you I'll be, I'll be. I'll be this guy. I've experienced some problems lately and we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend some time with her. But Am I it's hurt? only temporary and I don't know how long it'll last. Hey Jones, I'm taking you waiting. Oh, where do you want to go? <sighs> Arcade, 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 arcade. Right, we'll no mall. Fuck. I, I know a good arcade place. Want to check it out? <laughs> sure. I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. Here we are. <laughs> we fucking teleported. As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. AI has always loved cute things. It's not AI. It's it's a big, I want that big spider plushie. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, what were you even trying to Touch. get? Let me concentrate here. Not bad. I'm not a big fan of racing games either. 
I just like their setup in the arcade. <laughs> They're almost completely enclosed and seat tilts according to the game. It feels real. AI stands behind me and watches as I play. Why do you keep fucking calling her AI? As expected, I lost the first round horribly. Uh, oh, we're at a restaurant now. Where's my goddamn food? <laughs> Looks like playing games really tired AI out. Patience is a virtue. Shut your goddamn mouth. We did not happen to have that virtue. So we skipped through most of the game because it got boring. This might be where it gets yeah. interesting. A new PNG. He looks at me with a sad look. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry. It won't be. It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. It will never be an actual human. I fucking told you, dude. So as it turns out, AI was an AI, and Kenny shit on the main character. He, he's such a fucking loser. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Achievement unlocked. What are you doing oh. with your life? We still don't know. <laughs> I enjoyed the game quite a bit, so I decided to leave a Steam review as well. I like this game a lot because I really relate it to the main character. P.S. If you are a girl... <laughs> there is a sequel. If this video gets 10 million likes, I'll play the game. Anyways, that's all the games for now, guys. Is what I would have said if there wasn't... Dota 2 was on the list, but Kenny and I never got around to playing it. Even so, I downloaded the game afterwards. I've never played a MOBA before, so I ran through the tutorial quickly and went into a game. If we're being slash Soros for a moment, it was kind of fun. I didn't really know what I was doing, but running around just shooting lightning or whatever was a good time. Honestly though, like, the thing is, even though I don't know what's happening, I'm having a pretty good time right now. Even though my teammates ended up going AFK like little bitches, I still had a good time. I got a kill! Did I? I don't know. I guess it makes sense since the game's popular or something, but it's probably the only one on this list that I'd actually go back to. Did we win? The, well, the music sounds like we lost, but it says victory. Even though some of the games were a complete fucking waste of time, looking at you, Bitburner, it was fun playing games I'd probably never play if I didn't just randomly pick them out. Do I suggest doing this? Probably not, but supporting small creators is always cool or something. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this video, please just check if you're subscribed. All support is seriously appreciated with the time I put into these videos. And remember...